Hi, this is Dr. Corbis with Carolina Facial Plastics. In this video blog, I would like to discuss how I successfully remove keloids. To be able to understand how to successfully excise keloids, you need to understand what exactly is a keloid. A keloid is an abnormal response to healing. During an injury, the body comes in, creates scar tissue and new skin, and then it stops. During a keloid reaction, that system does not stop, and it continues to form scar tissue and skin, and that will be the formation of a keloid. So, in removing, successfully removing a keloid, the key component is how do we prevent it from coming back. The way that I do that is one, it really depends on meticulous surgical technique. A keloid in my practice is surgically excised. During the surgery, you have to be very careful not to cause any trauma during the surgery in order to prevent that keloid from coming back. So during the surgery, I never touch the normal skin to prevent injury. Secondary, you want to prevent any inflammation in the keloid area. That's why it's important to use very specific type of sutures or stitches in the area to prevent any inflammation. Those stitches need to come out about a week later. Probably the most important aspect of preventing the ear keloid or any keloid from coming back is by using injections afterwards. These injections are composed of something called 5-fluorouracil. It's a very potent medication that will prevent the keloid from coming back. I will inject the area of the keloid quite frequently during and after the surgery to prevent the keloid from coming back. Since I've used this protocol, my success rate of keloids from not coming back is extremely high. I hope from this video blog, patients better understand about how we successfully remove keloids at Carolina Facial Plastics. Thank you.